And welcome inside the Backstage Pass. It's Monday, brand new week of shows here for us here, and always excited to bring in the best and brightest from Nashville, Tennessee, Texas, and across the country here on the Backstage Pass, so presented by our friends over at Bangtail Whiskey. Check them out at uh, bangtail.com or easyliquor.com. Order online. Also, Gentle Bend Spirits. Sit back, raise a glass with one of the best out there, Gentle Bend's Vodka, Bourbon, and Gin. You can check them out at Gentle Ben. Uh, dot com and our friends at Honky Tonk Texas coming up this Saturday night. Our good friend Josh Ford is going to be out there. He just made his uh, Grand Ole Opry debut last year, and Josh will be playing Honky Tonk Texas uh, coming up this Saturday night with great drinks, great dining, and a big ass dance floor if you want to go out there and enjoy time with Texas country artist uh, Josh Ward. Pleased to welcome in here. I tell you what, I heard this song and I said, you know what, I got to have this guy here on the show to talk about this. Uh, came out last summer there in uh, 2022 in July. Uh, Chris J. Essex joins us here on the show. Chris, what's up, man? How's it going? How's it going? Appreciate you having me out here. <laughs> man, we appreciate you being on. And like I said, this is a, what I'm referring to as Lie With Me, which came out last July for you guys and has really uh, created a kind of a buzz out there, too. Well, first, before we talk about the song, I want to get to know kind of you at the top because we had an interesting discussion before we got on the air a lot about, you know, dreams and aspirations and things like that to become an artist and really, you know, put the the blood, sweat and tears in. Just tell me a little bit about your backstory and kind of what brought you to this point now as a Nashville recording artist. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. And, and I, I, I've always been, and I think we could touch on it a little bit is, you know, I, I was raised with a mantra goals we set or goals we get. And so, uh, you know, it was one of those things that I think I moved out here later than expected because being a Nashville recording artist wasn't even something that I actually could imagine myself doing when I was young. You know, it was something you, you kind of would always hope for. You would sing along to the songs on the radio, but I never knew anyone that actually successfully did it. And so uh, I, I put it off for a while, but I gotta, I gotta thank my mom, uh, raised predominantly by a single mom, and she mm -hmm. always saw it for me. You know, I was singing in choirs and doing theater growing up, but she always was like, you know, I think Nashville and country music is where you're gonna belong. And uh, luckily I was raised on good music with uh, 90s country. <laughs> Uh, and then I finally took a chance on myself after doing a show called Million Dollar Quartet, uh, mm -hmm. and it put a guitar in my hand. I had the opportunity to uh, play Johnny Cash in that show for a little over a year in Chicago, in New York, and uh, on Norwegian cruise lines over in Europe. And uh, it was finally being up on that stage with a guitar in my hand and seeing how people reacted when I was doing that. That said, I've got to, I've got to take a chance on myself. So I did. So I set the goal. I got out here. Uh, COVID and a tornado hit pretty much right when I got here, which uh, threw mm -hmm. a little wrench in those plans. But again, uh, I think I took it as an opportunity to uh, really uh, hunker down, double down on myself, learn what I needed to do. And uh, the past year and into this year is uh, where we're at. You know, you talk about those 90 stars. We've had a bunch here on the show from uh, great bands, uh, your artists such as Billy Dean and Wade Hayes. Tracy Lawrence, uh, the band Shenandoah. Uh, I mean, the list goes on and on when it comes to the, the people we've had. We've got a chance to talk about some of the greatest music of all time. And some of those timeless classics that are there, too, which I love so much because those songs resonate so much with fans even today uh, for things like Sirius XM, Prime Country, and things like that. And songs that live on with this, this your, your new single had a 90s feel, at least the way I kind of got from it, too, because you had a little bit of everything in the song, and I liked it very much. Well, I appreciate, I really appreciate that. And that was, uh, that was the goal. I, I think for me, you know, one of the things that, and I don't know, I've got to bet on my decisions, whether they be right or wrong, but you know, when it comes to writing the music that I write, I don't write for TikTok. I don't write for Instagram reels. And, you know, sometimes that can be tough because, you know, on TikTok or Instagram reels, when you're writing a song, you're looking for a hook that will grab you in 30 seconds and that's that's about it but you know a lot of times i've always thought of you know songs like there goes my life kenny chesney if you were to listen to any one part of that song by itself on a TikTok today you would not understand the full grasp and the meaning that that song has and so for me writing music and the songs that i choose to release have to have a beginning middle and an end and uh, that's just where I, I go from and a lot of that influence comes from what I have felt is one of the better or the best genres of country music is 90s and early 2000s country. 
you guys have done it right. I will say ever since uh, 2020, because I'm going to back up a little bit and kind of go with uh, a swipe right on me. Uh, let, let's talk about this one, too, because, I, and yeah, we do our homework here. I warned you, Chris, here on the show. We do the, the uh, homework yeah. and bring it out. It's just what we do here on, on the show, too. We love to drink. We love to do our homework here on, on the backstage pass. Tell us about, uh, you know, it's always you're seeing more artists do it now where they're putting out singles. Of course, it does save <clears throat> a lot of money when it comes to EPs and full-length albums. Doing those costs a lot more. The studio time's not cheap, but also putting out singles that, to me, at least keep the audience engaged, whether it's once a month, once every two months, every two weeks, whatever the, the format of the camp is. Uh, when did you guys kind of decide on uh, the song Swipe Right On Me and kind of give me the backstory of that one? You know, uh, Swipe Right On Me <clears throat> was was a song that I wrote before I had fully moved here. Uh, I was visiting a couple times, again, to kind of get my feet wet in the industry, you know, start writing with people that were far better than me in just my hotel room or my, you know, apartment, you know, by myself and, and start branching out. And I wrote that song and I just really liked it just because, you know, as much as I also enjoy the, the stories that'll make you cry and everything like that, some of the funniest or the more fun country songs are also the ones that have just test of the time and so i took an idea and uh, when we were releasing it i gotta be honest that song and the song that followed on the inside were releases that i felt i was trying to match what was happening in covid where mm -hmm. i was watching big artists release songs on mass it was single after single after single I remember i had just moved here not too long before that and so i said well I've got to get, you know, my feet in there. I've got to, you know, start putting out some stuff. So I pulled the trigger on those two songs and I took it as a, a sign, you know, I'm a, a very uh, spiritual person and I took it as a sign from God when I watched those singles go out. And though my current fan base had liked them at the time, they didn't blow up on TikTok. They didn't blow up. And that's just the reality of it. And I said to myself, do I need to pause from just being a part of the machine that's just putting out music and make sure that I'm releasing music that I am wholeheartedly passionate behind? So I actually paused on the release. And like you said, it's good to be releasing one after another. So I didn't do that after those two releases. And I said, I wanted to listen more. I wanted to write more. And I wanted to think more about what I was going to do. And so coming out with uh, Time On You, uh, mm -hmm. and coming out with My Kind of Place and uh, Lie With Me or uh, singles that will actually be building up to an EP that I'll be releasing out of this year. Uh, it'll be titled S6. It's a six track like EP that. after my last name, Essex. <laughs> and um, it's gonna be a six songs that, like I said, I've thought about, I've planned and I'm proud of. And just to show the world as a newcomer, this is who I am and what you can expect of me. I like that too, man. I like the, the title of that EP and uh, six songs, Essex. I like that, the way you got kind of tied that into that uh, uh, kind of PR move there, which is great too, because it's a great title. Love your last name and the fact is it ties it to a six song EP and these songs leading up to all the hard work to uh, some great songs out there. Well, I tell you what, I'm going to have you perform one, uh, perform two for us today. First up is going to be uh, the previous single you guys released called My Kind of Place, which came yes. out before uh, Lie With Me, man. So the stage is all yours, my friend. And well, uh, yeah, take it I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Sure. So yeah, this one's called My Kind of Place. And, uh, you know, uh, the smallest little backstory of it is me and a couple buddies were uh, talking actually about the Nashville Palace, where I go mm -hmm. to line dance and two-step at. And if you're in the Nashville area, I recommend you go there. It is a staple of Nashville. I always say Randy Travis was a bus boy there back in the day. That's how long <laughs> this place has been around. So if you want good country music, you go there. And we wrote this song about our kind of places. So this one's my kind of place. Here we go. The first one I found was down in Missouri. Some small town that you never heard. Bastard knew my ID was fake, but he let me in anyway. Took a look over and screamed out loud. This is my kind of place. We got darts and pool and some old bar suits. Shootbox playing George Street. Bathroom walls full of good time calls. Probably by my name. I keep the two dollar cores like coming around all night. Wouldn't have it any other way. So if you like to let me hear you say, hell yeah. That's my kind of place. 
Here. It's my kind of place here on the backstage pass, too. Of course, the Nashville Palace is up there. We love going up there. We're coming back again. Countdown to CRS 2023 Country Radio Seminar, March 13 to 15 in beautiful Nashville, Tennessee. Or at least we hope this year it'll be more beautiful than it was last year with the rain <laughs> yeah. that came in. Maybe one reason they moved it to, <laughs> to March over a, a spring break period. We'll be there, of course, interviewing Nashville's best and brightest. It'll be my kind of place at the Omni Hotel there coming up. Uh, March 13 to 15 there. And, of course, with Chris, you never know who's going to drop by and many other artists out there through our media room there at the Omni Hotel. Again, presented by our friends over at Bangtail Whiskey, of course, Gentle Bend Spirits, and our friends <clears throat> over at Honky Tonk, Texas. We'll take a timeout for our sponsors here. More with Chris. We're going to get to Live With Me, which is the current single out there across all the digital platforms, and a whole lot more here on the Backstage Pass. Hang tight. The Bangtail Pour is comprised of a sweet corn mash base. The front has a subtle sweetness and not too sharp. It has notes of a medium char or white oak for a smoky flavor in the middle, and the tail has a super smooth and warm finish. behind the scenes with some of the biggest artists in music today with the Backstage Pass powered by the SportsGuysPodcast.com. Join Brandon Morrill and his co-host Kirsty Krause as they talk to rising stars and legends about their music careers. Listen to their latest tracks and learn fun facts about the men and women behind the music you love. And be sure to tune into the Backstage Pass Here Monday through Friday from 3.30 to 6.30 back. powered by the SportsGuysPodcast.com. And welcome into the Backstage Pass and back here on the show again, Chris Essex joining us here on the Backstage Pass, presented by our friends over at Bangtail Whiskey, Gentle Ben Spirits, and of course our friends over at Hockey Talk Texas this Saturday night, Josh Ward out there, big show coming up there. Dine, drink, dance, and of course Gentle Ben Spirits, the Perseido Technology, hoping to get a hold of our good friend Ricky Ford here on the podcast, talk more about that too, the name is in the drink. I always say sit back and relax with a good drink out there with some great friends and Gentle Ben. And, of course, Bangtail Whiskey, all presenting sponsors of CRS Country Radio Seminar 2023, March 13 to 15 at the Omni Hotel. We'll be live there interviewing Nashville's best and 
brightest out there. So I got to get to this single too, because this is what really caught the attention live with me. Uh, let's talk about it first and then grab that guitar and, and play it. Cause it had, like I said, it, that nineties country uh, throwback feel. And many, many of what you said, uh, some of the artists, uh, Kenny Chesney, kind of what you uh, grew up listening to Chris a little bit too, right? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So Lie With Me is the single that uh, is out. And then obviously uh, Time On You is the one that is uh, is coming out. And, uh, you know, one of the, the interesting things I think about the two different ones is uh, – is production. I, I and I, I'm, I'm uh, right now. I'm really working on becoming a better demo producer myself. And uh, for anyone that doesn't know, producers are the heart of the music industry, just as much as the songwriter and the artists are, because the production can shape a song. Mm -hmm. And I think the uh, the difference is that you'll hear from my kind of place to lie with me to time on you is you're gonna hear the '90s country storyline in it. And then we're going to continue to add different production values that shape the song just so that uh, we invite more people in versus taking more people out, mm -hmm. you know? And I think that's what production has the opportunity to do. This new single that'll be coming out, Time On You, uh, is, a, is a song I'm real proud of. And then I'm glad that you heard a lot of the 90s country vibes mm -hmm. from it. It's a song that I wrote about a woman as you do, as, <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, as you, as you do. And, uh, you know, we were, uh, we were in, uh, pretty early stages of dating, but, uh, as an artist, uh, I work 24 mm seven. -hmm. I don't really take time off because if I'm not working, somebody mm -hmm. else is, yeah. and mm -hmm. you know, this is my opportunity here, you know, I don't want to waste it. But with that said, when you're dating someone, you know, you can't be too busy for them. And sure. uh, somebody told me one time, you know, he hated the, the conversation of being too busy because you're not too mm -hmm. busy. You just choose what you prioritize. And, uh, you know, she had brought up, you know, it's OK if you're too busy on this weekend. You know, it's it's fine. You know, we'll, mm -hmm. we'll make it work. And I want to let her know, like, she was a priority to me. So on the phone call, I said, don't worry. I'm going to spend some time on you. And I was also, you know, hinting other stuff that I would be spending time on you with. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it's funny because I pretty much hung up that call and I was like, that's actually a really good idea for a song, you know, to, to put that in so that they know, listen, everyone has their work day. They've got their nine to five. They've got their 12 hours. They've got their 24 seven, you know, but uh, it's always important that if you care about them, you got to show them that you're going to spend some time on you. And uh, we wrote that song, and uh, I'm I'm real proud of it. And uh, yeah, well, I say, well, let's have you play it here, of course, and then we'll get to our, our sponsor break. Come back, and kind of wrap it up with the rapid fire segment here, just a little bit, because I got to get to my good buddy here a little bit, uh, Ricky Ford with Gentle Ben Spirits out there, folks. We've talked about him since last week too. GentleBen.com. Uh, like I said, the name is in the drink, and it's one of the best drinks out there. Vodka, gin, and bourbon out there for sale in the Houston market, of course. With you guys, I always say sit back and relax. Uh, with that gentle Ben drink out there with your, your great friends out there. Chris, time to play that single Lie With Me, my friend, and we'll set it up. We'll come back and we'll talk to Ricky Ford here in just a little bit here on the backstage pass for a couple of minutes. Go ahead, Chris. Sounds good, boss. You want to see? You want to hear Lie With Me or do you want to hear Time On You? I tell you what. Oh, you put me on the spot there. I like that. <laughs> yeah, you know what? We'll, 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 give you, we'll give you an option. We have a song I, out there, but do you want to have the first acoustic version Let's, let's do the first acoustic one, acoustic one of Time On You. Let's go there. Let's do that. All right. I appreciate the opportunity. All right, let's Absolutely. do that. Let's, let's give it a shot. Yes, sir. I hear your voice on the phone. Say, baby, when you coming on home? I know you've been patiently waiting for me all day long. Well, girl, I get off in a few. But we both know my day is far from through. So when I punch the clock, baby, I won't stop till I spend some time on you. Oh, baby, I know what to do. I'm talking you when I come by. Where's the red wine? I can't lie. When I lay you down tonight, hold on tight. Cause I'll spend some time on you. 
that's a bad way to start it right now. I'm trying to make every hour, every minute, every second can. Let your body sit in place, baby. I don't care how long, long it takes. Time to spend some time on Baby, I know what to do. I'm talking you and I come by. Where's the red wine? I can't lie. When I lay you down tonight. to it no doubt right there chris essex here on the backstage pass the premiere there for acoustic a time on you which is coming out here as the next single lie to me is the current single out there across all the digital platforms we're going to come back and put a wrap on the show first we're going to welcome in our friend ricky ford here in just a second we'll talk about gentle bends we'll take a quick time out here pay all the bills here on the podcast here again the countdown to country radio seminars on we're live in nashville tennessee march 13 to 15 at the omni hotel interviewing nashville's best and brightest there at a Country Radio Seminar at the Omni in the Media Room, presented by our friends at Gentle Ben Spirits, a Bang Till Whiskey, and our friends over at Honky Tonk, Texas.us. Make sure you check out the website there. More with Chris Essex here on the Backstage Pass. Ricky Ford coming up here in just a second here. Gentle Ben Spirits here on the uh, Backstage Pass. Hang tight. We'll talk about the Presado process here on the Backstage Pass. Tell you why they're different than most companies out there. Hang tight. Back here on the show, our good friend and the CEO of Gentle Bends, our newest partner here on the Backstage Pass, presented by uh, Gentle Bends out there. Of course, our friends over at Honky Tonk, Texas. Uh, pleased to be joined by a good buddy, uh, Ricky Ford with Gentle Bend Spirits. Ricky, how you doing, brother? I'm doing awesome. How are you? Can you hear me? I sure can. We sure can hear you, too. Well, I tell you what, you know, for the for the folks that may not know, we, we actually began the partnership last week, and I'm so excited to bring you guys on board for the partnership here, too, because I want to talk briefly about what separates you guys in the liquor industry with the vodka, the gin, the bourbon that's out there. I actually tasted the bourbon the first time, Ricky, over the holidays, was blown away by it, no doubt about it. It was the smoothest bourbon I've ever had out there when it came down to it. The vodka's great. The gin is great. But this all comes down to the Perseido technology, the video we just played right there for people, kind of explain about Gentle Ben, Ricky, and how it's just one of the best. You guys are, are really changing the landscape of the way people see vodka, gin, and bourbon. Yeah. Yeah, Brandon, thanks for having me on. Uh, first and foremost, we spent probably 10 years in a lab developing a process that we could uh, apply to a broad range of distilled spirits and remove some of the inferior alcohols that are associated that give, that give alcohol a burn, that give it an edge. And most people don't want that. Most people want to be able to enjoy something without having that harshness, 
that comes with most distilled spirits on the market. So we developed a technology over the course of those 10 years that allows us to remove the offensive burn that's associated with the uh, vodka, gin, and bourbon that we put on the shelf known as Gentle Ben. And so it's called the Perseto technology. Uh, it is a technology where we apply seven different process parameters to it. Uh, we create an environment in a vessel that allows certain alcohols, methanols, butanols, propanols, aldehydes, fusilols. These are all common compounds that you find in a distilled spirit today. Most distillers attempt to remove those using distillation and some sort of filtration. We do it with our technology. It's a very clean technology. We use 10% of the energy that is used in distillation and filtration. We get it cleaner than distillation and filtration. And we have zero alcohol loss in the process of purification. So it's a whole different way of finishing a distilled spirit. And we use it on all of our Gentle Bend product lines. I love it too. And like I said, tell people, I know in the Houston market too, I've got a good listening audience over there in the Houston market, Ricky. I know gentleben.com. I've encouraged them to check out the website, uh, try to leave us a message on messengers. I know Total Wine, you guys have done some uh, tasting room out there, some some experiences where people can actually go out there at, at Total Wine, find it on some of the end cap promotions, things like that. And also uh, you've shown up at some tasting events. Tell people about that and where they can get the, the Gentle Ben selection. There's a whole lot of independent liquor stores scattered around the Houston area that carry Gentle Ben. And in addition to the majors like um, uh, Total Wine and uh, Specs. So, uh, and, 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 a, and a slew of restaurants as well across the city that carry the product. We started small. We started right here in our backyard. We want to get it perfected. We want to grow right here locally. And then we're going to take that out across the state as we as we kind of make our way through 2023 and early 2024. Well, I'll tell you, it's a great, great product out there. We're going to have more on it too, as you'll be joining us here. Like I said, uh, you know, every other week or when you can here to talk about it, take the edge off and I always tell people sit by and sit back and, and raise a glass. Like I said, of gentle Ben out there with some of the finest out there and don't just drink, drink smoothly, get rid of all the impurities and all the junk that you talk of. You guys talk about with the Perseto process. It's fantastic. Uh, thank you so much, Ricky, for partnering with us here on the Backstage Pass. Looking forward to a long partnership with you guys. We're going to be going to Nashville. You guys are a presenting sponsor of Country Radio Seminar. We'll be there live March 13 to 15 at the Omni Hotel doing Facebook Live broadcasts with Gentle Ben. And, of course, there are other presenting sponsors out there, too, with Nashville's best and brightest artist uh, out there. And you never know who could show up and be at our media booth. So I appreciate it. everybody here at the Backstage Pass. Ricky, we appreciate the partnership. And, and thank Gentle Ben for coming on with us. We really do. You got it, Brandon. Thank you, sir. You got it. Ricky Ford out there, gentleben.com. And, of course, uh, you guys can check it out out there in the Houston market at Total Wine and Specs and, of course, uh, the Houston Rockets. And I know out there, if you guys are at one of the games, select restaurants. And, like I said, make sure you guys do take the edge off. The gin, the bourbon, and vodka is out there for your drinking pleasure right now. And, uh, like I said, again, getting rid of all those impurities and putting the best in vodka, gin, and bourbon out there. Sit back and raise a glass. Ricky Ford and Gentle Ben out there, too, as well. Ricky, we'll talk to you soon, my friend. Take care. Thank you, bud. Thank you, you got it, too, as well. And back here on the show again, too, as well. Definitely. That's the, that's what you like, Chris. Is Like I said, you, you like sit back and have a glass. Bourbon, vodka, gin. Yes, I mean, you sir. can't beat all the impurities. Getting rid of it in alcohol, too, as well. And definitely... Uh, it's definitely one of the best I've, I've tried. And definitely the partnership began last week, too. And, and uh, my goodness, man, the, the cocktail is, is – the vodka is tremendous out there. It's so clean. Well, I'm going to have to make it on out to, to Houston and get my – Yeah, come on out there, brother. Like I said, Rockets <laughs> games. I know it's going to be the Astro games coming up this fall, too, and, and just a, a whole lot of it out there with Total Wine and Specs in the Houston market and also GentleBen.com. Uh, the bourbon is fantastic, too, as well, and it's truly a refined – experience when you do drink out there so check them out also check out our friends over at bangtail whiskey uh, bangtail.com or easyliquor.com out there too some of the best whiskey on the market too and of course honky tonk texas josh ward coming up this week hey i gotta ask you about this too because uh, i love rapid fire coming up here and i know i could have you here for another 20 minutes to talk if i, I could do that too uh which is great uh you know everybody's making this news resolutions for me it's like going back to the gym hitting the weights hard getting back at it, taking care of my health a little bit better than I have in the past. For you, and I guess it could be music-related or not music-related, what are some of the 
Chris, J. Essex, New Year's resolutions for 2023. Oh, yeah. I would say that uh, I, read a, I read a book called A Thousand True Fans. And if you haven't heard of it or you haven't read it, read it. It's this idea you don't need 100,000, you don't need a million, you need a thousand true fans. And I would say that this year is dedicated to those thousand true fans. It's to uh, to be getting out there hopefully in the summer doing a small tour, some kind of one-offs on the weekends and stuff, but building a actual human interaction, which I think COVID stopped for, for a bit. And I want to uh, make this the first year where I really get out there, start meeting the fans, start getting them to see me live on stage and hearing a lot of the music that I've spent so long working on for them and just uh, start building that relationship. I tell you what, it's, you could have said it better right there when it comes to marketing, networking, and just keep meeting people and, and talking to people about your music and all the, the different uh, great songs you guys have out there too. Uh, how was Christmas? How was the chance to kind of relax and kind of be with the family? I know for me, it kind of, speaking of liquor, like Gentle Ben, it took the edge off. <laughs> having the guys <laughs> of that a couple of nights, but just having the edge off and taking the time off from work took yeah. the edge off for me, Chris, because it was just exciting just to get out there and, really rest for those two weeks and do absolutely nothing but be with the family, cook and be at the house. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, Christmas this year looked a little different than years past. My mom and I, uh, we went up to Tampa and we went up to Orlando and uh, I guess I should say we went down to, um, but we, uh, we went to universal. We went to islands of adventure. We tried to go to Bush gardens, but it was actually so cold there. All the rides were closed. So we're going to make another trip to go back there. Um, but this year, both, you know, my mom and I, are the type of people that we just work and we work and we work. We don't really ever take time off. And normally vacations, going back home, mm -hmm. we're still kind of working. We're in front of a computer. We're still doing things. So this year, we both said to ourselves, because she's an ER nurse down in South Florida, and she worked all through COVID. She hasn't taken a time off since COVID and everything mm -hmm. like that. And we said to ourselves, you know, we just need to do something where all you can do is just have fun. And amusement parks were our thing. And we had the best time off. I swear, I felt so good after that vacation. I was so sad to have to go back to work. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you, man, uh, I love the story so much. Uh, I love the fact you get a chance to come by here and spend some time with us too here. Uh, the single Live With Me is currently out there across all the digital platforms. And thank you for performing. Uh, the new one, Africa. I have to even ask you the drop date for the new single you performed for us today. Do y'all have a drop date for it? Yes, February 10th. We are okay. releasing February 10th. So uh, it's uh, <laughs> just about two weeks. And uh, we're going to have a song. The way I look at it is the song is just in time for Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, if you need something for your playlist, this will be it. <laughs> and give people the title one more time so they can get it across all the digital platforms. Time on You by Christopher J. Essex, just in time for Valentine's Day. Well, time on you too, just in time for Valentine's Day. And what's great about that is Super Bowl weekend, Kansas City and Philadelphia going to battle on that Sunday. And the countdown is on, of course, for uh, MLB starting to see if my team can defend their championship here for 2023 out there for the World Series champion Houston Astros. We'll have more on that in the coming weeks as we try to track down uh, some guys in the Astros camp. Talk about that too. Chris, I got to ask you about sports now. Yeah. I do sports and music on here too before I let you go. Uh, some of the teams you root for, uh, whether it be college or pro, who do you get into? Uh, I'm a Packers fan. My mom's okay. from Wisconsin. My whole family's from Wisconsin. My grandfather was one of the first 100 shareholders of the Green Bay Packers. Really? So, uh, yeah, so uh, I am a Packers fan through and through. The past couple of years have been hard to be a Packers fan. You know, <laughs> yeah. they, they get real close. And then, uh, for lack of better words, they drop the ball. But, you know, uh, but uh, Packers fan all the way. All right, the million dollar question is: Is it uh, is time up for Rodgers? Does he go somewhere else? Does he come back? You know, uh, I, I, I the way I look at it is: if he comes back, I think it's got to be an all or nothing year. You know what I mean? True. It's got to be yep. one year. Give give everything you got for you know everyone that's just kind of stood behind you and said, you know, we believed in you every single time. Give it all or nothing and give Brady something to cry about. <laughs> please, have Brady go to the house and please retire. I love Rodgers, but I've never been a, a, a Tom Brady fan. No disrespect out there. But I know the guy's <laughs> one of the greatest, if not the greatest of all time, arguably. But I'd love to see Aaron get one more ch uh, crack at it there to get a, a second Super Bowl, at least be in the Manning category slash Brady slash Montana. Bradshaw and, of course, all the other great quarterbacks uh, of uh, – the last 20 or 30 years too. Chris, I appreciate the time. Best of luck with the new single coming out February 10th. And of course, live with me if you guys want to go check it out, if you haven't already, across all those digital platforms out there. And then definitely, man, uh, continue kicking ass and taking names. And hopefully we'll get to see you there 
at uh, Country Radio Seminar coming up in Nashville, March 13 to 15. Yes, we appreciate the I'll time. I'll see you in March. Thanks for being with us. If you're around there, let's hang out again. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Looking forward to it. You got it. Thanks to our sponsors, Hockey Talk Texas, this Saturday night. Josh Ward out there, HockeyTalkTexas.us. Our friend Ricky Ford over at Gentle Ben Spirits. Thank Ricky for joining us there. Vodka, gin, and bourbon in the Houston market. Also with the Rockets and the Astros out there. Select Total Wine and Specs. And, of course, uh, definitely changes the game when it comes to getting rid of all the impurities and making it a refined experience out there, gentleben.com. And, of course, our friends at Bangtail Whiskey, bangtail.com or easyliquor.com. You can do some online shopping there. And tell us what you think out there. If you're drinking our products, we want to know. Leave us some feedback out there on Facebook and Messenger, and we will tell you. Like I said, we don't put our name on anything that's not good. We put our name on everything that is good here on the uh, backstage pass there, too. Might even have a little taste or two there, Chris, in Nashville. I might bring some bottles or at least get some bottles there. From. Yeah, you, you bring some of them, we'll have a glass. <sighs> we'll have to because they can't, like I said, I'll just bring it in there and little glasses of stuff. Let the pour it in take some shots. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing the live broadcast out there. Again, tomorrow, good friend Stephanie Quayle is going to drop by. She was named one of the next women of country music out there, too. We'll talk to Stephanie about what's going on in her uh, camp, too. And then also February 7th, uh, Dylan Carmichael here on the uh, Backstage Pass. Look out for that one, too. Excited about that over the next few weeks. We'll see you guys on the flip side tomorrow at uh, 4 o'clock here, presented by our friends over at Bangtail Whiskey, Gentle Bend Spirits, and Honky Tonk Texas. Until then, have a great night. We'll see you soon.